Hello, it's Sharla. Today I'm here with a sewing DIY. These are shoe wings. They make any pair of shoes or sneakers look super cute and unique. I've been on the lookout for a pair of some wing shoes, but with no luck, I've decided to make my own. For this tutorial, I will show you how to make a pair of cute baby angel wings and a more complicated cooler set. This tutorial requires some sewing machine experience, but hand sewing is possible. Let's get started! You're going to need fleece fabric of any color, scissors, a sharpie or marker, a pencil, and a wing pattern of your choice that you can print out below, and a sewing machine. For the baby angel wings, start by tracing out the pattern on your fleece fabric. You're going to need two of each wing. Then cut them up completely, then stack them on top of each other like so. Then sew along the sides of each wing except for this flat side right here. Be extra careful sewing along the curves. Go very slowly in order to achieve its shape. Don't be afraid to pick up the needle and turn the fabric if needed. Now turn it inside out. I like to use scissors or a long stick to poke every single corner out. With the pattern as a model, use a pencil to lightly trace the design onto the fabric. Try to be as accurate as possible. Back to the sewing machine, sew carefully along the lines you just drew to embroider the design onto the wing. Cut the excess thread. Now match the wing up to the shoe. For this particular wing, we're using two holes. Mark the holes with a sharpie. Then fold and cut a tiny cut. Then poke into the other side with a pencil and cut where it indents. Now thread your laces just how you want them. And now we're finished with these wings. Now this other wing pattern is a bit more complicated because it has many more feathers and requires one more hole. The steps are the same as the previous pattern. Cut four wings, two of each. Stack and sew along the sides. For this, cut the excess fabric from the sides and especially in between the corners, so turning inside out will be easier. The shape is much more defined this way. Now trace the design with a pencil. Sew along the lines. Cut excess thread and create three holes using the same method. Finally, just lace them up. And now you're ready to fly.